This Health Ranger Report pandemic podcast is brought to you by naturalnews.com for uncensored reporting and healthrangerstore.com for lab tested preparedness supplies such as storable food, full face medical masks, biostructured silver first aid gel, and iodine only while supplies last. Pandemic.news April 28th update. Yes, the censorship has gone off the charts by the tech giants. And we're seeing now videos censored that disagree with the WHO. So YouTube is clobbering anything that has an alternative explanation. Now, I remember when the censorship was hitting me in particular, I was one of the first that was deplatformed across all the platforms. And at that time, a lot of people in the, the pro-liberty community or alternative media, they they said, well, we won't be banned because we're not talking about vaccines or transgenderism or Satanism in Hollywood or whatever. They thought that they would be safe, right? So they didn't speak up for those of us who got banned first. Many didn't. And now here we are fast forwarding a couple years later and the pandemic is here. And now these same people are being banned for talking about the bioweapons origin. They're being banned for talking about chlorine dioxide or colloidal silver or ultraviolet light. People are being banned for that. Even on Twitter, just banned. You talk about ultraviolet light as a possible treatment, even though UV light kills viruses, including coronavirus and many other types of viruses, by the way, you're not allowed to talk about that. If you disagree with the WHO in any way, even though the WHO is run by the communists, China, then you are banned. So now the question in my mind is, I wonder how much censorship the people are going to put up with, because I've called for the dismantling of YouTube and Google and Facebook and Twitter years ago. I've called for the arrests of the CEOs of those companies. They should be charged with crimes against humanity. I've called for Trump to dispatch the military police to arrest those people because they're waging a war on America. And it's now clear, by the way, that China is waging a bio war on America and that the tech giants have sided with China. The tech giants are defending the enemy of America that has launched a biological weapons attack on the United States. So quite literally, YouTube and Facebook and Google and Twitter are in fact working for the enemy. They are enemies of America. They are enemies of the people. They are enemies of truth. They are enemies of free speech, of course and they're working for communist China against the interests of the United States. So it's not only that we have to defeat the coronavirus in America, we have to defeat the communists. We have to defeat the tech giants that are being run by the communists, that are actively working against the United States, against the national security of this nation. The tech giants have to be dismantled. Otherwise, America is lost. And it's very frustrating to me that President Trump says nothing about the tech giants. And I think I know why. I think it's because he wants the stock market to do well above all else, no matter what has to be sacrificed, including the First Amendment. And because the FANG stocks represent such a large portion of the Dow Jones Industrial Average, Trump didn't want to do anything that would harm the stock prices of the tech giants. So he let them censor Americans. Tragic. Major tactical mistake by Trump, by the way. He let the tech giants censor America and censor Trump supporters in particular, but now censoring anybody who talks about vitamin C or zinc or elderberry or UV light or colloidal silver or anything. You have no ability to talk about what works against the coronavirus now. How insane is that? We have a tech industry that is censoring all conversations about things that work. Of course, the answer is they don't want things that work. They don't want people to not be infected. They want everybody to stay infected and stay desperate until a vaccine is rolled out with the vaccine mandates and the RFID tracking chips and all that. Because big tech is really in the industry of, frankly, unleashing a medical tyranny to enslave humankind under basically a, a big pharma run vaccine tracking authoritarian police state. And Trump hasn't done anything to fight that, that I'm aware of. Are you? Has he done anything you can think of? He, he could at least speak out against it. He could have the DOJ investigate the tech giants for crimes against America, for collusion with China. 
Where is William Barr on this issue? Where's the FBI on this issue? FBI is doing nothing on this, at least that we're aware of. So yeah, the censorship's going to keep getting worse until I suppose there's a limit of what the people are going to be willing to put up with. And so far, what I've discovered as the founder of Brighteon.com is that a lot of people still prefer to use YouTube, even though they're being totally censored and demonetized on YouTube, even though they could use Brighteon for free and not be censored talking about natural cures and nutrition and prevention strategies and so on. They could post all that on Brighteon. They could talk about, they could expose the, the, the Satanism in Hollywood, the, the pedophilia in the political elite. They could expose the fraud of vaccine fake science without being censored. But no, they prefer to use YouTube. At least many people do. Although I have to thank all those who have moved over to Brighteon. I, I mean, I don't know. It, frankly, it costs us money to run Brighteon. It's not a profit venture. It's losing money. And so we are paying to protect free speech of other people, frankly. In fact, we just got contacted by Cloudflare, which carries most of the video traffic there. And Cloudflare says we just blew out our um, existing contract, uh, apparently because everybody's sitting at home watching videos, including on Brighton, they're getting lots of views and we're just blowing through bandwidth. I mean, I mean, terabytes, okay? Like hundreds of terabytes of bandwidth is what we're blowing through every month. Now it's, and it's costing a lot of money and Brighton is not earning much money, not enough to pay for the bandwidth at this point. Although we did manage to reduce uh, storage costs by 90% many, many months ago. So that kept us uh, going. But right now we are burning, burning cash on bandwidth just because I believe in free speech so strongly that I will pay for other people to have a platform. And, and maybe that's silly, you know? Maybe that's stupid on my part to pay for other people to have a platform, but I really do believe in freedom of speech and I believe that we need an alternative to YouTube and that's what Brighton is all about. So folks, if you want a free speech platform where you can openly talk about all these important issues without censorship, use brighton.com and, and that, that's your answer right there. You know, spread the word, share the videos, embed the videos, use the platform, watch the videos there. That's how we beat censorship is we move to alternative platforms. And we've spent now, I think, a couple of million dollars building that platform. Still has a long ways to go. We'll put millions more into it over the next couple of years. And it's not advanced. It's still pretty basic, but it does function. So thank you for your support. This is Mike Adams here, the Health Ranger for Pandemic.News and Brighteon.com. When it comes to prepping, you not only need good products that can help keep you alive, awake, aware, and nourished, during difficult times, you also need products you can trust. At the Health Ranger store, we do extensive laboratory testing using an in-house lab that's ISO accredited. It's inspected, it's audited. It's a two-year process to even get that accreditation. We use multiple mass spec instruments, state-of-the-art science. I'm a published science author as well and a patent holder on several technologies, some of which we use variations of in our lab. The purpose of this lab is to help you make sure you get clean, foods, superfoods, storable foods for emergency preparedness and survival use. We have a certified organic lab tested, what's called Ranger Bucket collection of storable foods with some survival gear in the buckets to help you even boil water and cook those foods and so on. It's a, a fantastic product. We can barely keep it in stock even during normal times. In a crisis, we'll be wiped out of this product because it actually takes us a lot of time to make those products. But if they're in stock, you can get them now at healthrangerstore.com slash prep with Mike. In fact, go to that URL, healthrangerstore.com slash prep with Mike, and you'll see some of our survival and preparedness supplies, including iodine, colloidal silver products and gel first aid products, storable foods, superfoods, medicinal herbs for first aid, and much more. We have a lot of products for you to help you be self-reliant, to be safe, to survive difficult circumstances, natural disasters, and all kinds of things. If you want to get prepared, do it with us at the Health Ranger store so that you know you're getting safe, clean, laboratory verified preparedness foods, supplements, and other related products. Again, the URL is healthrangerstore.com forward slash prep with Mike. All one word, no spaces, prep with Mike. I'm Mike Adams. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. 
If you want to support our mission, visit us at healthrangerstore.com for the world's largest selection of lab-verified superfood and nutritional products for healthy living. It's at healthrangerstore.com.